Hello guys, welcome to a video. In this video I'm going to show you how to do some Java Bedrock crossplay using Eternals. So, the first thing you want to do once you have signed in is you want to hit create server. Now, you can change the IP, I believe this is, here is here. So at the moment, mine is sonicpoolyt.eternals.me. So I can only change the front bit of it. I can change my icon. Let me add the Christmas one then. So now we've got our little guy in a Christmas jumper. Then you can also change this from Bedrock to Java. Also you can change this after you've created the server so I wouldn't worry too much about it. So for this I'm going to select Java Edition. We're going to hit create. Okay, so this here is now your server. You can select different softwares. So this is the address. If you want to get your bedrock or your port, that's going to be your port. So first thing you're going to want to do is you want to come down to software over on the side here. Then we're going to select spigot bucket 1.18.1. Uh, there we go. Then what we are going to do for the second thing is we're going to come over here to the plugins section. Now the plugins, you have got so many options for plugins. There are honestly just loads. You just got all of these pages filled to the brim with awesome plugins. But what we're going to do is we're going to go and search up Geyser. Then once you have got Geyser MC, we're just going to quickly add that to the server. And then you can, if you want, you can upload your own world. For this one, I'm not going to upload my own world. Also, we can come here to options. And then we can change everything from here, from the icon to the IP address. PvP enabled, animals never, resource packs required, fly. So I'm gonna leave my game mode in survival for of right now. And then what we're gonna do is we're just now gonna launch the server. Then we can just hit connect, copy that, go over to Java. I'm pretty sure I already got it added. So there it is. So on Bedrock Edition, you want to put your server name, server address, and then the port in there. Just hit save. And once the server has started, you should be able to join. Right, so once you hear that noise, the server is now online for the next six and a half minutes until someone joins. Then it will stay on forever. So let's join it with the Bedrock and the Java. So often the first time you try and join it will pop up on the bedrock it will pop up with that notification all you got to do is close it and reopen it. As you see we have now got our bedrock friend in the world and as you'll notice they will have a dot above their name or in front of their name so if you want to opt them, you got to put the dot and then their name. So on Bedrock Edition, what we also got is when you try and attack, you will have this like cooldown phase here. As well as that, we also have Sweeping Edge. So with the player heads, if I've got it on my head, it will look be the right texture. And if it's placed on the floor, it'll be the right texture. If it's in someone's hand like it is on the Java player, it will look like a Steve skin. But over here on Java Edition, we have got the actual texture in our hand and on the floor. And we can see it on the head. So also, all the Java mods should also work. Paste it in. In it goes. Then on Bedrock Edition you should be able to see it in the background as well. Anyway, that's going to be it for me today. Hopefully this here was useful. Now you guys can play with your bedrock friends. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you don't kill them like I did. 
But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, I'm currently trying to reach 1,000 subscribers before the end of this year. So help me out with that goal to reach 1,000 subscribers. Anyway, see ya. Goodbye.